Welcome to the International Student Graduation Ceremony here in Swindon at the Defence Academy in the United Kingdom. And today we're here to see Major Edith Nakalima graduate after completing the Advanced Command and Staff Course 21. This is a high profile course that tracks senior army officers from all over the world. Today on graduation day we also have senior delegates from the UK government. On arrival, Major Edith Nakalima welcomed her special guest, Baroness Linda Chalker, the former British Minister for Overseas Development. Also to welcome her was Brigadier Matthew Gureme, the Defence Attaché Uganda High Commission in London. The ceremony started with opening remarks from the Air Vice, Marshal Chris Luck. Welcome to the International Graduation Night. It's a real honour and a privilege to have you all here with us. And followed by Lord Lieutenant of Wiltshire, Mrs Sarah Troughton with the Queen's message. Then the moment came when the award ceremony started. We had over 101 senior army officers from 54 different countries, which included Canada, Germany, United States, and Uganda to mention but a few. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. Edith looking very calm, waiting and waiting. Now, this is it. Go, Edith, go. This is your moment. This is amazing. Major Edith Nakalima gets her medal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. In front of your family who are all here to witness this ceremony. Wow. Uganda is on the map yet again. Well done, Edith. Whoa, I can't believe this but well done major edith you have made you gun this so proud well done well done <laughs> after the ceremony the guests were treated to a reception in the main reception hall where all the flags of the different countries were displayed. And yes, indeed, the Ugandan flag was flying high as always. Two days later, Major Edith Nakalima invited her friends and colleagues to a barbecue party where senior officers were introduced to Ugandan food and drinks. So for now, meet Judith Banya, who can tell us the events of the barbecue. Hello there, it's Judith Banya again with you today and we're back at the UK Military Academy in Shrivenham. It's the summer 2018 and today we're celebrating graduation. It's Thursday today. Um, Major Edith Nakalima had her ceremony on, on Monday. So what we have done today is we have invited Ugandans. We have a very wide Ugandan community that has come to celebrate with Major Edith Nakalima and many dignitaries um, from the academy as well. Uh, had an amazing year in Shrivenham with uh, working with Edith uh, in the same syndicate. Um, working through all the challenges of ACSC, um, Edith and her family, lovely people, and it's been such a pleasure to meet them. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to meet up again soon, as she is now part of our wider family. Um, now enjoying the Ugandan warag. Yes. Cheers, Edith. Yeah, that's awesome. Edith, you know me, Paul Ottowell, XO of uh, A Division. Thank you. Working in the Defence Academy is a privilege and it's a privilege because people like you come into our lives for a year at a time um, with, a, uh, with a broad smile and absolute commitment. Um, <coughs> having the opportunity to work and learn, laugh uh, and live alongside you uh, has been a true pleasure. 
It's a pleasure because you leave us with, a, uh, with as broad a smile as you joined us um, and uh, leaving us all, all the better for having known you. It has been an unmitigated uh, pleasure. So good now luck. The cake, what a beauty. What an amazing thing to talk about here. Of course, it's military. So we saw this military, you know, British flag embedded with a Ugandan flag on the cake. Now the cake was cut and it's layers of Ugandan colors. We, Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Azida. You could not have done us even more proud because we had this military theme and then when you cut the cake, it's Ugandan. That, that is symbolic. Hello, Edith. Um, sorry for the hair. Um, it's all a bit windy here, but you know that because you've been at the party that you've just thrown for all your friends and supporters and I am proud to be one of them. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me. It was a privilege working with you. I still remember you coming to see me on the first time we consulted, you consulted me on your DRP and life was not good for you at the time. And the journey you've been on and the improvements and, and successes that you've had since then is just amazing. You are such a strong and wonderful person. It was a very, very great privilege and joy working with you. I had a great time today. I had a great time every time you and I talked. I had a great time having you in my ENDS elective. You were such a strong spokesperson for women, putting all the men around you right, and for Ugandan women in particular. So I think you say you've been enriched by ACSC, but I think all of us who've had any dealings with you were also super enriched by you. Thank you very much and have a great time back in Uganda and a wonderful career ahead of you. I'm sure you do. Thank you very much for being such a good student. It's a pleasure to come all the way from Brussels to be here today because uh, Nakarima is, uh, is one of, of the younger generation of ours in the, in the military who I personally was involved in their recruitment. So, so I remember we went to pick them up. They had been mobilized, they mobilized young people to join the Uganda Revenue Authority and the army and it was in our interest that they do some basic military training in order to go to join the, the anti-smuggling anti -smuggling units of that time. So we picked on graduates from the university and uh, so there were a hell lot of young men and women who turned up. So I, I arrived at the scene with my car and uh, briefed them on not to expect a bed of roses. And then uh, some trailer trucks 40-foot trailer trucks came uh, to pick them up and they were so like scared or demoralized because they, they were anticipating coach buses to take them. So, so some girls left, some girls and some young men left, but uh, Edith Nakalema was among those who, who stayed, who stayed and went and joined the, the forces. So, perseverance thus far. Kudos to Edith for her perseverance. The energy to want to serve the country. I salute all those young people who stayed in the army. Then, the second phase, she started working at the Presidential Protection Unit while I had just left. But because she belonged to a group of people who I had personally recruited or personally met, knew, I kept on interacting with her. So this SFC command group was actually asked for an officer to go and help the president with his work. Nakalima was, was chosen by the SFC command that time to go and work for the president. So I congratulate her and I wish her the best wherever she's going. I know she's a tough woman, she will manage. This, uh, this uh, like all other Uganda things out here, we, the Ugandans really overdo themselves. I was happy there was some cultural troop so that the international students can see that we have some strong culture behind us and then the food was good and uh, these thank you cards I think were very innovative to, to, to where we come from and what we eat this was a very good card. Ugandan food drinks from Uganda and there were gifts especially brought in from Uganda that have been um, 
given to the commanders, to, 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 to some of the military chiefs here. And we, we really put Uganda on the map and we thank you all, thank you all for coming today. And um, Major Edith, as you, we bid you farewell from the UK, the Ugandan community in the UK has been very pleased to support you. We thank you so much for letting us support you. And we're also very happy that you've enjoyed your stay and we wish you all the best. God bless you and thank you everybody. Thank you, Edith. Thank you, Edith. Say bye-bye, Edith. Bye-bye, Edith. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Edith. I really love you. Bye-bye. We don't go to where we're going to go. We're going to go to Uganda? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go to Uganda. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.